peace infinite waters diving deep once again another glorious day we're out here in nature baby got the t-shirt on that means it's pretty warm <laughs> you're less depressed if you are like this let's just woo breathing in that good ass prana baby i get thousands of messages every single day on depression and we're gonna talk about it we got a whole lot to talk about do you sometimes feel depressed do you sometimes feel ashamed of feeling depressed do you want to do something about it great that's what we're gonna do and we ain't even had breakfast yet can I get a hello? <laughs> so I know what it's like. I've been there. I've been depressed along my early journey. And I feel every single human being on planet Earth has been depressed at one point in their life. Because when we talk of depression, we have to really know what we're talking about. You're less depressed if you are like this. If you realize depression just means deep rest. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Let's do it together, deep divers. I want you to say depression out aloud phonetically, right? Once you speak depression phonetically, let's see what we get. One. Two, three, deep rest. Wait a minute, deep rest. <gasps> right? So depression simply means deep rest. Your body is trying to tell you something that you need to slow down. So many times in our society, we're rushing and racing always trying to get to the next place but we forget to press pause that's how it was like for me along my early journey i felt very low because i was in a hurry to get nowhere fast do you know what that's like i'm busy you're busy they're busy Oh my days, everybody's busy. Can everybody stop being busy, please, for one second? <laughs> I realized that I felt low because I was always in a hurry. And then I got my ass into nature and I started to really, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I started to listen to my body. I needed to slow down and now, my depression stopped totally. I'm hardly ever depressed, but it's also okay to be depressed too. It's not a bad thing. Your body is communicating to you that you need to take a break. If you're working too hard, overwhelming yourself, stressing the body out, deep rest will happen. Because your body's like, okay, if you don't want to stop, we're going to stop you. Okay, so when you're in nature, you're able to tap, to tap into the truth of who you are. Everything slows down like a slow motion to this side, <laughs> right? And depression just disappears. So take a break. I'm asking you today to slow down, press pause, and don't feel guilty about doing it. You're less depressed if you actually admit you get depressed sometimes. Do you sometimes hide that you are depressed because you are ashamed of what other people think? I'm here to tell you that it's okay to be depressed. Like, Everybody has been depressed at one point in their life. And when you can get real about how you feel, 
you're less depressed. Like I meet people who sometimes say, I'm so depressed right now. Then the, the next minute they're laughing, they're doing cartwheels and they're, they got a whole bunch of grapes in their mouth, right? And then I meet some people who are like, I'm always fine, fearful, insecure, neurotic and emotional always putting on a smiley face sometimes you can see beneath that something is not quite right now i help millions of people to become their greatest versions right this is what i study i've been doing it for years so i know what works and i know what doesn't work i'm here to tell you once you can get real with yourself just say actually i feel pretty low i feel pretty tired it takes more strength to admit and say, actually, deep rest is happening right now. I need to slow down. Then it does to say, actually, I'm just going to continue, even though I'm so tired. That will only make you more depressed. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You are less depressed if you realize depression means suppression. Are you bottling up your emotions? Emotions means energy in motion. Many people who have depression have, they have negative energetic blocks. I did for a long time. What helped me clear those blocks up? I started to realize that I got to start expressing how I feel. Can I get a hello? <laughs> That's better. It's okay to cry. <laughs> That's good. We're getting somewhere. Express a full range of emotions. Allow yourself to do that. Then you will be less depressed you're less depressed when you are more vulnerable like people who always have a box of tissues around them will often end up feeling less depressed because they can let it out people who always appear to be tough is that you out there trying to always act like you're so tough i got this no you don't look you just fell on your ass right it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be angry sometimes. Just express the emotions you are going through. That clears the negative energetic blocks, which will make you less depressed. If you are suppressing your emotions, sometimes you might meet someone at work, you ask them, how are, th how are you? How are you? And they just like, I'm fine. Once again, fearful, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. Underneath, you know something is happening, but they're acting super tough. You're less depressed when you just admit it, when you're just like, actually, I'm going through some stuff. You'll get more help that way. You might actually meet someone who can help you through your depression. You're less depressed. Seven day vegan challenge. I see a lot of people eating beautiful food right now. If you are getting high amounts of tryptophan, like I eat high amounts of tryptophan every single day. People are like, Ralph, that's amazing. Cause you're always smiling. I say, yeah, it's the tryptophan. <laughs> and my mom, thank you, mom. <laughs> tryptophan, what are we talking about? Tryptophan is an amino acid. Serotonin. I feel so good. For, it's a serotonin, baby. You feel so good because of serotonin, right? Serotonin is synthesized from tryptophan. So tryptophan, that amino acid, is responsible really from... It's really responsible, <laughs> it's responsible for moving you out of depression. Now, what foods have the highest amount of tryptophan? 
Seven day vegan challenge. I'm gonna give you a whole load of foods to eat right now. Let's talk about raw cacao. That is bursting full of tryptophan. That's gonna produce a lot of serotonin. The serotonin is gonna produce a lot of melatonin, right? <laughs> now your third eye is open, your pineal gland's wide open right now, right? It's activated. Let's go. What else? Chia seeds, packed full of tryptophan. What else? Watermelon seeds, packed full of tryptophan. What else? Flax seeds, packed full of tryptophan. So, there are so many beautiful ways to eat tryptophan. And the more tryptophan you eat, the less depression you will have. I eat a lot of raw cacao. I love chocolate smoothies every single day. So tasty, right? I'm getting my good dose of tryptophan and therefore I'm less depressed. Once again, I have more energy. So I'm not in that deep rest place, right? In a deep, dark, sunken place. Now, you're less depressed if you say this. I am choosing the most emotional, the most emotionally healthy option right now. Slow motion this side. Let me repeat that. You are less depressed if you say this. I am choosing the most emotionally healthy choice right now. What am I talking about? I remember many years ago, over like 15 years ago, sometimes I would just be in my bedroom thinking, oh my gosh, these walls around me, <laughs> the window was closed. I feel so depressed right now. Will my life ever be anything? And the cat down the road's like, no, right? I realized because I forgot I had a choice. Sometimes many people who have a lot of depression forget they have a choice. I chose to stay in that bedroom. I chose to stay in that bedroom. And I know it was making me feel worse. And then months later, I realized a secret. It's a choice. How you feel is a choice. Then I said, I am choosing, choosing the most emotionally healthy choice right now. And then I just ran downstairs, opened up the door and ran into nature. And the rest is history, right? I chose nature, right? You can choose to be more emotionally healthy today. If you don't like a job, find a better one. You're in an emotionally draining relationship, making you depressed. Start putting a massive question mark and say, okay, I need to find someone who respects me, who listens to me and who is honest with me 100%. Slow motion this side. Mm. You're less depressed if you realize nothing blooms all year round, not even this beautiful tree, okay? <laughs> and that's okay. Once again, it's okay to sometimes feel depressed and feel low. Nothing is meant to bloom all year round. So remind yourself this, that it's okay to take a break. You are not weak. In fact, you are showing true strength because life is all about knowing when to be active and knowing when to be passive. So remind yourself that, okay, I got to go on holiday. Like I spend a minimum of five hours every single day in nature. I say my whole life is a vacation, baby. <laughs> That's the truth because I've realized the importance of ecotherapy. I make these videos in nature 
over 90% of them because I realize I am choosing the most emotionally healthy option. While I'm making these videos, guess what I'm doing? I'm whoa, getting high of the good ass prana. But you see a lot of us, we're chasing a check. We're in an office, sometimes we're somewhere where we know we shouldn't be in places not meant for us, in relationships not meant for us, trying to force it. We got to choose the most emotionally healthy option and then you will be less depressed. You're less depressed if you're not all about trying to make your life appear perfect on the outside. Now, I meet a lot of people who sometimes, because I'm a Pisces and I'm left-handed and I'm born on March 3rd, I'm very intuitive. <laughs> and I see certain people and I'm like, okay, I'm a psychologist, a counselor. This is what I do. I realize there's a lot of underlying issues when I counsel people. And they're like, oh my gosh, Ralph, how did you know? Because I knew you were trying so hard to make your life appear so perfect on the outside, but on the inside, you were hurting. On the inside, you were screaming. On the inside, you needed a hug. On the inside, it wasn't like how it was on the outside. So you really want how you feel on the inside to match how you appear on the outside. Like when I smile like this, I feel pretty good inside. Why do I feel so good inside? Because I realize I am blessed to wake up every single day in infinite abundance and inspire millions of people. Do you think I'm complaining? When I used to work 12 hour days, now every day I wake up with a bunch of grapes in my mouth, knowing I will always be rich forever. So if you are someone who is always taking so many selfies and you're like, I don't like my body, I don't like this. It's not your body that's the problem. It's how you feel on the inside. And what I will tell you today, you will feel less depressed if you start nurturing the inner you as opposed to just trying to put the outer you right. Saying, okay, I've got to get this filter right i got to Photoshop myself right, get airbrushed right, but then you're still not happy. How do I know this? Because I get tons of messages like this from models, from all kinds of people. It's not your body that's the issue. It's how you feel on the inside. I was making videos where my hair, my hair was all over the place. And ask the deep divers, deep divers, you know this. I was having the time of my life. Can I get a hello there? Because it wasn't how I looked like on the outside. It was all about how I was feeling on the inside. And that's why my light just shone through. You're less depressed if you're not afraid to cancel plans. I know what it's like because sometimes people phone you and like, they're like, do you want to go out today? <laughs> and sometimes you're like, I don't. Uh. You're really, you can't say I don't want to go. You can't do that. That's what makes you more depressed. Once again, depression is suppression. I respect people who just speak their heart and mind and they don't care what anybody thinks. Now, I used to be a person who found it very hard to say no to people when they would ask me, do I want to go out? I'm like, uh, right? Like I was losing my voice. <laughs> then I found my voice. I found what I really wanted. And now it's like, yes or no. I'm not afraid to say yes or no, or no, or yes. <laughs> Depression begins to fade away when you accept how you feel 
You don't have to apologize because you don't want to go. You just say, sorry, I can't go right now. You don't have to write an essay of why you can't go. Ladies, fellas, I'm talking to you, your friends who always ask you to come out with them. And sometimes you're so tired, you need that rest. And you're like, I'll go because if I don't go, you're probably not going to be friends with me. Well, they aren't your real friends anyway, if they're not like that. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. They are not your real friends if they treat you like that anyway. So remind yourself this, that it's okay to cancel plans, meetings and appointments if you know that what will serve you most is getting that much needed sleep, that much needed rest to get your body back into divine alignment and health. You're less depressed if you are surrounding yourself with people who are good for your mental health. Mm -hmm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Now, sometimes you gotta go like this. If you gotta go like that around people, <laughs> run. When you surround yourself with people who are good for your mental health, you will be less depressed. Energy is contagious. And I've realized that like I surround myself with people on a very high frequency because I'm on a high frequency and I realize that that's a secret. Their energy rubs up on me, my energy rubs up on them and now we are both lifting each other up. You're more depressed when you hang around people you know in your heart you have no business being around but you're just there. Sometimes because you just want to fit in. Let me tell you this. You're less depressed if you're not concerned about fitting into a system which you know was not made for you. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Shout out to my indigos. Shout out to the crystals, shout out to the rainbows. I know what it's like because your mind is light years ahead. Sometimes you're dreaming of the fifth dimension and then someone gives you a parking ticket. Don't worry about it, right? <laughs> so I realize this, when you are awake, so many people are awakening right now on the planet, moving into a higher state of consciousness. And sometimes that is beautiful, but sometimes it can also feel depressed, right? It can also make you depressed, it can also feel very depressing because you know too much, yet you're trying to put yourself into a box when now you have superseded this. You have grown, outgrown this, right? So when you start outgrowing this system, Sometimes it can feel very depressing because you're like, where did everyone go? <laughs> and the cat down the road saying, they buggered off. <gasps> and then you meet someone, right? Look, you're less depressed when you stop trying to mold and fit yourself into other people's ideals and ideas of what you should be, how you should be, how you should behave, what you should look like, how your body should appear. When you have a good sense of yourself, you are less depressed. Once you accept yourself 100%, you are less depressed. Once you love yourself 100%, you are less depressed. Can I get a hello? <sighs> Why am I in nature? Because I'm getting that good vitamin D to activate this melanin right to help me produce more melatonin to stimulate my pineal gland which is the secret to everything a fully activated pineal gland we'll come to that later 
So I started to realize some people have sad seasonal affective disorder, right? Look, we are made to be out in the open. We are made to be in nature. That's why I choose to be in nature every single day for hours. Because I'm like, I need that vitamin D top up, baby. I need to be shining and glowing. It's no mystery that a lot of people who are in the sunshine, if you're on the beach right now watching this video, watching those waves roll by and it's like 100 degrees outside, <laughs> you're probably less depressed, right? Because you got that beautiful sun just shining on your face. I know what it's like. I've lived in so many different countries, right? Born in the UK, live in the US, live in Africa too sometimes, been to Brazil, been to nearly every continent on the planet, right? Did a slow motion by the pyramids like this. Mm. Slow motion for the pyramids this side. Mm. And it was hot in Cairo, goodness gracious. It was hot in Egypt. And guess what happened? By me getting and receiving that beautiful sunlight, it was helping me feel so good at the same time. So ask yourself, okay, can I travel somewhere where it's a bit warmer? Even if it's not so warm, you have to realize your eyes are like a camera. The more light coming in, right? Once again, you're going to feel better mentally and emotionally. It works. Everything works by light. Okay. Try filming something in the dark. What are you going to get? Nothing. So go out into nature and receive that. Realize, realize that light, what the ancients knew in ancient Egypt and Sumeria, light is energy. It is a life force. It is food. Sunlight is food, right? So once again, the more you go into nature, get the natural sunlight, you will be less depressed. And then you'll just say, Feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> We're out here in the heart of nature. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. We're just... Woo! Breathing in that good-ass prana, baby. We're out here. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You! <laughs>